Hi, this is Linda with Watery Wishes and today I'm creating my own patterned background with some of the stamps from a previously released Simon Says Stamp stamp set that came in a card kit. The stamp set is called Crafty Friends. It's still available. So the kit is not, but the stamp set is. So I'm using um, some mini ink cubes with this set, uh, with this stamp set. And they're Simon Says Stamp mini ink cubes. I believe one is Hollyhock and the other is Spring Rain. Now these two ink cubes come in a set, a four cube set from Simon Says Stamp. I'm also using some, I think it's squeezed lemonade distress ink. And then I'll be using some archival ink uh, in the color watering can. Now, as you can see, I just alternated between the pink and yellow colors, and now I'm going to alternate between the blue and pink colors, or the greeny blue, so it, the spring rain and the hollyhock. And I'm using the Misty for this because it allows me to get exact positioning, but it's not something that you really truly need to do. It's it is a background image and people aren't going to be critiquing it too close. I'm using another stamp out of the same Crafty Friends stamp set and it's the Dash Line stamp and to make this quicker I'm just using it on a long lawn fawn acrylic block. And it doesn't have to be perfect as I said. But I was really happy with this background. The only thing is it was really, really bright. And I was using the patterned paper from the August Simon Says Stamp card kit. But it was just too bright to use with this card. So I 86 that idea. I did try to see if I could get it to work, but it just didn't. I end up using this pattern and some uh, what is it, watercolor wishes paper by Lawn Fawn. As you can see, the pattern paper is off to the left there. And apart from the inspiration I, I got from the colours in some of the pattern paper, I was really just winging it. Um, when I set out to make a card, I very rarely have a plan in place, like a real solid plan. I'll just go, oh, okay, I feel like doing watercolour today. What stamp set would go great with that? Um, the only time I sort of have a plan is if I need to make a card for a specific reason. But the only reason I made this background is because I plan on entering this in the Simon Says Stamp Make Your Own Background. So that was as big as the plan was. So I'm going to use some vellum to tone that pattern down a little bit. So I'm trying to sort of 
trim it so that the pattern sort of not lopsided. There's my handy tacky glue. Now I'm just trimming down the vellum a tiny bit to fit perfectly over that panel. And the panel is five and a quarter by four. It's an A2 size card. And as you can see all those little scraps, bits and pieces, that is my one too many bowls <laughs> where if I've got extras that I've colored in and I'm not you and I'm not used them in a card they go in those little bowls and I pulled out some previously colored in butterflies from the beautiful day stamp set and I used a poppy crafts die to create the grey circle out of fog cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. The pink is from the Watercolour Wishes paper pack from Lawn Fawn. And the butterflies have been coloured in on the reverse side with some Copic markers. Now if I could do this again I would stamp the sentiment down before I stick the panel down but I didn't so what ended up happening was the vellum warped a little bit when I heat embossed the sentiment and I'm using a sentiment out of the uh, beautiful day stamp set that the butterflies came from and I think it says keep smiling I'm using some Ranger fine detail embossing powder. Now I've I've heated it already off camera. And now what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to stick the vellum down with the tacky glue on the corners. I'm using a little bit of score tape behind the center of the butterflies because I want the wings to sort of curl up a little bit and that will keep them really stuck. And as I was saying, I, I used the tacky glue on the vellum but because I'm using it where the pattern is and I'm only using the tiniest like head of a pin drop bits it's only really noticeable if you're looking for it so I was quite happy with how that turned out and now I've got some pre-made white blizzard I think they're white no simply white I don't know simply white nouveau drops and some bubblegum blush pre-made drops the good thing about the pre-made drops is they also allow you to um, position them and move them around Sometimes they do stick together.
and uh, yeah so I've stopped using my multi medium mat simply because the uh, precision tip on it is driving me nuts See, and you only need the tiniest bit of this tacky glue. It's actually pretty strong. So that's the finished card and I'm really really happy with how this turned out. I love the colors in the background and I love how the butterflies sit up off that uh, fog cardstock. That's another card done. And as I said, I'm really happy with the colours with this. It's lovely and soft with that vellum. Definitely worth taking the time to make that background. Here are the close-up pictures. And um, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you like more than this video, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, have fun crafting your imagination. Bye.